John and Jeremy are both very generous and very connected people. I knew in coming to the event, I would meet a number of influential and very interesting people. I had a major specific problem that I needed solved. I knew in coming to their mastermind, I would get real world feedback from entrepreneurs who had been at it for a few years. It's incredibly valuable to get that caliber of feedback from that caliber of individuals. Many, many years ago, long before I ever attended John and Jeremy's mastermind, I actually spent around 400 hours creating an online product. Imagine how disappointed and crushed I was when I rolled it out expecting incredible things to happen and then crickets. Absolutely nobody wanted my product because it was off the mark. From that day forward, I promised that I would always include my customers in the process of building any product or service again. I knew that John and Jeremy's mastermind would be loaded with entrepreneurs, which is my target market. And by getting their feedback, they actually pointed out a major, major flaw in my plans. Some of the feedback they gave me caused me to change probably about 90 degrees the direction that I was going. That single change made an instrumental and permanent change in the success of my company. There's no doubt that had I not received that bit of insight from the group that I could be stepping on landmines left and right right now. Instead, I've been able to dodge those landmines, get focused, and actually be swimming with the current, which let me tell you has been significantly, significantly easier than fighting the tide. No kidding, because I've now chosen my market properly and precisely, I've literally sold the new product that we've, we're putting out in as few as seven words. When people ask me what I do and I sell it, say, we help entrepreneurs get a great assistant, I've literally had people say, where do I sign up? Had I not gone through the process of getting real world feedback from fellow entrepreneurs, I never would have been on point the way that I am today. After identifying this exciting new direction for our company, immediately my assistant and I, we got to work matching up entrepreneurs with assistance that we were getting from around the world. We figured out many, many, many of the pitfalls. More importantly though, we figured out what mattered most in the company. What kind of person would we need to hire to bring in to then lead this new division of our company? Since then, since the mastermind, we have found that person. We've identified the key metrics that she's going to need to hit for her to be successful and for this program to be a smash hit within our company. And now she's been working diligently for many, many months now to bring that into reality. Now we're positioned to hire on even more of our, what we call onboarding consultants who help create matches between entrepreneurs and assistants. And in the next 12 months, we expect to do about 200 matches. Considering the fact that just a year ago, this business didn't exist whatsoever. We are certainly in a very, very exciting position moving forward. If you're thinking of attending one of John and Jeremy's masterminds, I encourage you to really think about two things. Number one is what is the specific question that you're going to bring to the table? That makes all the world of difference. When I had my opportunity to be in the hot seat at John and Jeremy's mastermind, I was a little bit bold, let's say. I said, what would have to change about my program for you to give me your credit card right now? <laughs> it's maybe a little bit cheeky, but because I knew this was my target market and because I wanted to know not if people would think about buying, I wanted to know if people would buy. And lo and behold, after we went through all these different versions during my hot seat time of what my business could be, when we finally settled on what the winning new product or service could be, I ended up actually getting three purchases right from the room, which was very exciting. And then a fourth one came immediately afterwards. Had I not had a specific question and had I not known my specific target market, that wouldn't have been possible. The second piece of advice I have for you is to make sure that you know who you're looking for advice from. If, for example, you're looking for advice on how to be a better dentist or marketer or even like specifically in PPC if you want to figure out how to do Facebook ads, then I would go and find a conference or a mentor or a coach that talks specifically in those areas. I would say John and Jeremy's Mastermind is more so at a little bit of a higher level as an overall entrepreneur. It's not just a marketing method or a HR or hiring method or a finance method. It's more for whatever your biggest sticking point is now. And if you can get clear on what kind of help you're looking for before you show up, 
you're already 80, 80, 85 percent along the way, then everyone in the room can just help you that much more specifically. A friend who I met through John and Jeremy, his name is Michael Roderick, had a really great point. He said, vagueness is kryptonite to connectors. What he meant is, if you're really vague in what you're looking for, it's tough for people who are connectors like Michael and also like John and Jeremy for them to help you out. The same is true when it comes to a mastermind. If you arrive and you're foggy, you don't really know what to ask or really what your problems are, it becomes difficult for the rest of the room to help you. So I highly encourage you to get very clear on what your number one most important question is that you want solved by the end of your time in the mastermind. And you may find that your answer will come during your hot seat time during the mastermind. It may also come out during a break when you're just casually talking to someone or maybe in the evenings or during one of the meals. The more clear that you are on that one question, the more that you can share it throughout the entire mastermind experience, including when you're in the boardroom, but also when you're outside the boardroom, the higher your odds of getting great feedback. Now, not all advice is created equal. You want to carefully consider where the advice is coming from when you're receiving feedback. If you've got a question about Facebook ads, and that's one of your biggest questions, and you're talking to someone like Adrian Richardson, who is a very high-end Facebook ads practitioner, then obviously she can give you some very targeted feedback. Don't come to me though with your question about Facebook ads because I don't really have that much experience with it. The same is true whatever your question is, whatever your challenge is, consider the feedback that you're getting both in the room and outside of the room and weigh it based on if the person you're speaking to has real world experience actually having done it before. Getting to know John and Jeremy is a very good thing. Not only are they very genuine and generous, they're also very connected. It's through John and Jeremy that I had an opportunity to speak at NYU in New York City. Definitely a life achievement kind of opportunity. Through that opportunity, it then led to me being featured in Inc.com, Inc. Magazine's website, which was another incredible life achievement. So wherever you are, John and Jeremy do know people, resources to connect you to. And by coming to their mastermind, you can build a great relationship with them and begin the process of them getting to know you at a deeper level. So then they can figure out how they can help you go to the next level of your business, whatever that means.